guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Now, I'm recording on my phone and my camera. So if I'm looking at both places, that is why. But I just got back to school and I wanted to do um, some of the stuff that I brought back with me from what I got for my birthday this weekend. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. So. The first things are my free gifts. One I got from Ulta and the other I got from Sephora. So what I got from Ulta is this Urban Decay eyeshadow and it's in the shade Midnight Cowboy. And the first of all the packaging is really really cute. I really like it. And the color is cute as well. So here's that. I don't really know if you can see it. I have a lot of light behind me. Also for my camera, you know. I don't know. Um, it's really cute, and I swatched it on my hand yesterday, and I thoroughly enjoyed the color. So this is something I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with and see what I can do. Cause I, if you know me, you know I'm not really a makeup person, so I don't really wear makeup that much. But I might try it, and I might like it. So what I got from Sephora is this fresh package. So it is this one is fresh soy face cleanser. Um, yeah, I haven't actually opened this yet. It smells really good. It's like a rosy, a rosy smell. And then this is a rose face mask. It says infused with real, with real rose petals, hydrates and tones. Um, I opened this yesterday, and it's the weirdest, weirdest thing. Um, I was told it works really well. This is what it looks like not really appealing doesn't smell the best um so it smells like the, the face cleanser but stronger um doesn't smell the best but i'm gonna give it a go i might actually do a first impressions with that just because you have to leave it on for like five to ten minutes um but yeah next thing i got was also from from sephora and this was from my mom all this stuff was from my well, not all of it, but most of it's from my mom. And this is Kat Von D's Bow and Arrow. So, this is that. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to link everything below like I usually do um, when I do stuff like this. So, that's that. And I've been wanting, I've really been wanting the shade for a while. Because um, I have mainly like dark purples and reds and I have that mauve which is lovesick by Kat Von D so I don't really have any like nudish colors I would say I would say that's like a nudish um three other things I got which I don't have with me they are at home home are I went to Bath and Body Works and got the mini candles three for twelve I got um Peach Bellini which is one of my favorites um, black tie, also one of my favorites, and I got um, fresh balsam, which is my favorite Christmas scent ever. Um, I actually have a Bath and Body Works handle with me now, and I'll show you. I didn't get this this weekend; I got it a while ago. But it's black cherry merlot, and it smells so amazing, and it's really cute too. So when it's all done in the little bottle, I'm gonna clean it out and use it for something. I don't know why, but I'm gonna use it for something. Okay, next I got, I'm not going to show you, but I went into Victoria's Secret. They have their 7 for $27.50, so I got that. Um, this was a gift from my mom's boyfriend's mom, and it is a very oversized sweater, and it has polar bears on it, if you can see. So, we got that from Target, and I just think it's freaking adorable because I love polar bears and she also got me this infinity scarf because I don't really actually have any like plain scarves so got this from Target it was only it was 12 bucks the shirt was actually $10 so that was really nice Target has some really good deals right now I'm not a big Target person but sometimes they have some really good stuff and then usually when you right walk in they have like the um the dollar section the three dollar section whatever um, cheap, cute 
knickknacks and craftsy and things like that but I really like those when I go in there I usually only ever go in the Target if I'm with um, my best friend or um, other family because we just never shop at Target now I also got um, we went to Air Apostle and they were having a really big sale now there's a couple things that I got from there that are being saved until Christmas so I'm not going to talk about them, but I am going to talk about the other stuff that I have now that I get to keep for um, my birthday. Birthday. Because my birthday was a week ago. But I got a new sports bra, because who doesn't need a plain black sports bra? Really cute. I really like it, you know. And it was only, it's originally $24.50, but I got it on sale for $9.98. So could not beat that honestly and I got this black skirt little mini skirt and it has pockets so you know I had to buy it and this was originally $44.50 got it on sale for $17 so that was literally amazing and they were having a sale where it was um buy one shirt at full price and you get two free so one of the shirts that I bought for Christmas was the highest price because they take the highest price obviously and I got two shirts for free um so two were for Christmas and one I have now which is not technically a shirt it's actually a, a bodysuit and it is this and it's really really cute because it has the lace in the front so I really um really like that but it's a really pretty like mauvey color I don't know if you can see it but again I think that's really cute and I tried it on with a skirt and it's adorable and it would look really cute with um, either black jeans or really any color jeans and like some nice cute boots or something and the last thing I got I I got um, I went to Barnes Noble and I got a book there so I'm not gonna tell you what book I got because it's held for Christmas I'll do that in my Christmas haul that I do obviously um, depending on circumstances but the book I got to keep now is this one it's called this is where it ends um, it's about a boy who shoots up school so it is unfortunately a very realistic story it's told from the perspectives of I believe it's four kids yeah four different kids in the span of 44 minutes so what it says I'll read for you on the inside told from four different perspectives of the span of 44 har harrowing minutes terror reigns as one student's calculated revenge turns into the ultimate game of survival um, so I got that book and I'm really excited to read that I actually read the first like two and a half chapters when I was in Barnes & Noble waiting because we went to the Cheesecake Factory and um, got cheesecake show that I believe is everything I got for my birthday um by the time this weekend I believe that's it pretty sure yes pretty sure so um what I plan on doing I actually ordered another book it should be at my house this week. I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna have my mom ship it to me because I'm gonna be home in a week. Anyways, and I plan on having this book done by the end of the week. So I can just switch the two. But I would like to do a book review on it. Um, because if you know me, you know I love to read. I have a lot of books and I think it would be fun to do. Um of course there's gonna be there's probably gonna be spoilers in that video so what I was thinking is that if anyone wants to read this book with me um, that'd be pretty cool because we can talk about it on my channel and you can comment on um, comment on it and tell me what you thought about it um, of course I'll reply to you because why wouldn't I and I just think it'd be 
fun. And if you don't want to and you just want to hear what I have to say about the book before you buy it and read it, that's cool too. But I want to do that with this book and I want to do that with the book that I bought um, online from Barnes & Noble, the one I was just talking about. And that book is about um, an apocalypse, uh, apocalypse said apocalypse is going to happen, does it happen, her parents sell everything and they're kind of like homeless. And that really happened because in 2012 everyone saying was the world was going to end and so many people sold all of their belongings, like their houses, their cars, everything they owned for some odd reason and um, they were left with nothing but, you know, the money they had. So. I thought that was pretty interesting and I want to read that so if you want to, I'll leave the link to that book as well. I think it's called um, No Parking at Ends Time or something like that. So if you want to get that book too, um, I plan on talking about that as well. So yeah, that's really all I have to say right now. Hopefully this video goes up soon. I'm mean, hoping I can do it with my camera because I've kind of been looking at my camera the whole time and not my um, my phone, I haven't really shown my phone anything, but, um, yeah, so, <laughs> thanks for watching, so, but really, um, if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And you'll see all my new videos. Not that I have that many. Sorry. But seriously. Subscribe to my channel. And say hi. And if you have any ideas for videos. Please comment them below. Because I get stuck. And I don't know what to record. And then I'm just like two weeks out. And I haven't had a video. So. Um. Yeah. Also. When I go home. I do plan on doing a. DCP um, like favorite memories video and I'll show you like my little memory box that I have from the program and the stuff that I like collected and yeah because I know like people people like to hear about my Disney college program people still ask me about it and I love talking about it still because I thoroughly enjoyed my program even after all the videos I said I wanted to go home but I do miss it quite a bit but again that is for another video that I plan on doing and yeah Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! I had to turn my camera off first because, you know, I can't really edit that.